You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out some Marusenko puzzle spheres. These are not as much puzzles. Well, they are puzzles because they can be puzzling, but kind of like a display puzzle because you can mix them up and get different color variations just by turning them around. And those color variations have different levels of difficulty, I believe, is from what I understand. Now, they also make these multicolored and single colors like this, but other colors, and there's quite a few variations. They are made in Spain. I've had them for a two or three years. Now, I'm not going to open up one of them. I think I'm going to give away the black and white one, even though that... Probably my favorite is the black and white. So that's why I will open up this one here. So let's just see. Level one. Oh, if you want to learn about how I give things away, look in that description. You will see now over 130 items have shipped across the world, actually. Lion Rampant Imports. That's where I got this from, I believe, many years ago. I think they were given away as samples. Ages seven plus. ASTM Marusenko, made in Spain. Not much more to it. I saw this little tracking label, month and year. Look at the bottom of the packaging, and then there's numbers, but there's really no packaging. There were numbers on the inside of the sphere itself. It looks like there's a little instruction booklet. And it did say level one on the side. I have done a little bit of checking into the puzzles just to make sure, but... There's not much more to it that I can tell you at this point till I get it out of the packaging. Let's see, is it taped around? Okay, so this piece of plastic will come off. Let's just break it right there. Yeah, it's like a tape. Oh, sadly, it ripped off a piece of my label. I probably should have just cut around the edge, but now it's totally off. Oh, here we go. There is the sphere. All right. Looks really cool. So, is it like a Rubik's Cube? No. Are there solutions? I don't know if you'd look at it as a solution as much as... Here, this is what I was talking about. Challenge yourself to get the following solutions. I guess they are solutions, but there's a bunch of them. Like the Rubik's Cube, you're trying to get to one end result. Uh, this, you're trying to turn it to get to these results. Like this one, it's a loop all the way around. This one looks like the ends are solid, and then the outer band is solid. This one looks like solid, white, solid. What is this? Three-inch triangle, four-inch four inch triangle to North Pole. What are they telling me here? I have no idea. Two Colors Ball Level 1 Tutorial, okay. So you can get this to this, where it's one color on one side and one color on the other. Well, see, this is all confusing to me. I'd have to actually sit and solve the 8 star, orient the ball like this, and then I would need to, you really need to study this. We solve the ball from north to south through the following steps. Okay, and then that takes you through step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, step six, step seven. And that gets you all the way. Twist all the poles. All right, well, enough of that. How about I just turn? Now, it looks like if you don't have the poles aligned correctly, you will not be able to turn this you can turn these the poles and then maybe this way but till this is lined you won't be able to turn this way aha uh -huh. it's got a nice feel let me move this down a little bit i haven't decided yet what i'm going to actually do here if anything let's just see if i can get the poles all the same color let's, i'm, I'm just kind of trying to understand this here okay 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 now how would I get this one to 
here when I have to turn this. Oops. Oh, did you see that? When I miss a line, it let me sneak a peek on the inside. So there is some alignment you got to do. Okay, so how do I change just that? Do I need to pick one up from a, another corner? Ah, this is where I'm going to get confused. Uh, so there is some jostling here to get these lined up. Oh, there's a logo here. So that is their logo point. So now this, so if I move this out, that would let me, huh, misalign that. But the one that would go here is this one. Ah, okay, I'm already a little confused about how this is actually, how you're going to move these to different positions. You've seen me do puzzles before, so sometimes I get through them, sometimes I don't. I guess it just depends on how can you get all the all of these one color or is it just certain ones based on the amount you have so there's going to be some whites and some of this bluish color so if i could turn that there then i can move that right getting a feel for this here I'm just gonna move things around and just kind of try to get a sense of this what that sound for puzzlers right it's just a unique sound as you're sliding through your steps and then these all turn No, I've never played with one of these. Okay, so this will slide out now. This will go into this position. So do I need to get a sphere in here? Like that, okay. So how do I switch out a corner? I'm calling these the corners. There's the corner. I forget where is the top and where's the bottom. You almost have to make this your reference point. So you have a reference. But how do you get all of those to there? Right, I'll tell you what, I'm going to keep playing. I can't have too long of a video. Uh-huh, YouTube. Can't make them too long. Kind of sad you can't do what you like to do. Oh, I locked out. Locked position there. Hold on. Okay. So I will keep checking back. I think what I'll do is I'll just get half and half and see if I can accomplish that. I'm still kind of just understanding the principles. And then I will keep checking back with you. Okay. Okay, 
I'm not sure if I knew what I was doing, but I was kind of turning and moving things and I was able to get that. Now, could I restore it back to its original form? I'm not going to attempt that right now, but I think just in general, understanding what this is all about, knowing that now I have that, so you can simply move things around and instantly make changes to your puzzle is pretty neat. And you can really mess it up pretty quick, just like that. So cool. All right, well, I'll keep this one in my collection, which is ever growing. I don't think I've ever shown you all the different kinds of puzzles I have. Never have I. I have a bin day coming up. Maybe I'll do that, because in there are some puzzles I need to move to another bin. But I think overall, you get the idea of this one. Really cool. I think it's just fun turning around and seeing, you know, how things change. And there you go. The Maru Senku puzzle. Senko, sorry. From Spain. And thanks for watching. If you're interested in that other one, I will leave some information in the description area. Well, I could just keep going and going and going. This one, remember this one in black. So looking at description, I'll have a link. I'll probably put this in the Rubik's Cube playlist because I might change that playlist just to say all the different puzzles I've shown you because they're not all Rubik's Cube. And then you can go check out those videos. And if you can, it would really help me out. And Lucky Penny Shop. That's why I didn't put the full, I did the shortened version of me actually getting to that position on the puzzle because videos, well, I don't want to get into it because I'm still having fun making videos for you. And thanks for watching. Please go watch that playlist. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.